Hi Dresser Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw an ice cream truck, so let's get started. To draw this awesome ice cream truck, let's first start by drawing a slant. So this is kind of like where the windshield area would be. It's about that much. I'm going to draw that slant and I'm going to start to come down with a slight curve to draw the hood area. It's going to come down, round it off, and come straight down. So I'm just drawing the very general shape of a truck right here. From there, let's go straight across. So this is going to be the top of our ice cream truck now. So go straight across. I'll say about that much. I'll stop about my truck about that um, long. And then from there, I'm going to come straight down. about right there. So before I stop, um, uh, finish this part, let's come back over here. Bring this down a little bit more. And then in this area right here, I'm going to go straight across and just draw a little bumper in. So it's all up to you how much detail you want to put on your ice cream truck. I'm just going to give it a little curve and then connect. And then I'm going to come right across. So about right here in the bottom. And then now I have to draw a wheel, right? <laughs> so that's why I have all these shapes right here, because I love to save these little round things. And um, it's really useful when I need to draw a circle. So let's... Um, I don't want it too big because I still have a window I need to put in. So this one here might be a bit big. So maybe let's... Uh, let's go this one. Let's go smaller. Because it's not about the wheel, right? So. Let's Okay, this is good. Now let's go with the smaller one. So about right there, I'm going to go ahead and use this to trace a circle because I'm drawing pretty big and it's just so much easier, right? So there, we have a nice circle in and I'm going to continue this line across. So right here. About right there, I'm going to draw the other wheel. So just make sure that it's at the same level as your other wheel. So about right there. And go ahead and so definitely keep these little round trinkets around. <laughs> they come in real handy. Okay, so there. This wheel is a little bit low, I just realized I'm looking at my camera, so I'm just going to bring it up a little bit more. Okay, close enough. Alright, so now we can go ahead and finish the rest of the truck. So I'm going to bring this across once again. And then right in this area, I'm going to stop and draw a back bumper. So it comes straight down. So this one's a lot longer. And then curve once again. There. And then now let's come to the bottom right here and I'm just going to draw a straight line across. Okay, so now we have that in. Now let's draw, let's see here, let's draw some lights. Right here. So just add in a curve and maybe a back one right here for some detail. And now we can come back in here and draw the window. So let's come right here. We're going to follow my angle right here, my windshield. And about right there where it starts to curve is where I'll stop, round it off right here, come straight across. And about right there, I'll stop and bring it down. And I'll round this part off right here and connect. So we just want to get in the general 
uh, shapes for this truck here and then now for the awesome window where all the ice cream is so I'm going to use this as my guy come about right here and draw a straight line across for our window stop about right there and I'm going to angle out this little canopy right here for our window so from there I'm going to go ahead and just draw a bunch of curves to connect it back so we're going to come back to there. And one more. And for some details, we're going to add some lines right here. So everywhere you went up. And so the center one will be a bit straighter and then it's going to angle the other way on the other side. Okay, so then now for our window, come straight down. Same thing over here. So about right there, I'll stop and add a straight line across. And then thicken this window box right here and draw another line across. So lots of circles and rectangles. <laughs> okay, so now we have the basics in. Let's come to the top and we're gonna round this part off. Come out a little bit and we're gonna go straight across to give our ice cream truck here a little top. And then round it off right here as well. Now for the top. So we're gonna come about right here. Just gonna give it a little ledge right here. And from there, let's draw our big ice cream cone at the top. So right on top of this, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a straight line. Right on top. And this is where our ice cream cone is. So it's gonna be at a slant. So using this, I'm gonna come straight out I'm going to angle. So it's going to be angled about right here. So I'm going to start with a curve. I'm totally turning my body here so I can see this angle a little bit better. And it's going to come out about right here. And connect. There. Oh, that was a bit tough, right? Got to angle your paper or your body. <laughs> okay, so from there, we're just going to finish this ice cream. And one big mound of ice cream at the top. And then let's draw some drizzle, of course. and some sprinkles. I'm just making everything nice and big so it's easier to color. You just draw some sprinkles at different angles. Okay. So then for some cone detail, we can come in here and just draw some curves. There, finally done with the top. Okay, so then we can, um, I almost forgot the wheels. <laughs> we need an inside circle. So this one, I'm just going to wing it. Since it's a bit smaller. And another one right in the center. I'm just giving myself a point just to make sure my circle is about the same size as the other one. Okay. 
Okay, there, got my circles in. Um, and then next, um, what we want to draw is, let's see here. Okay, so let's come in here. We're gonna to start to draw the ice cream. So come in here and we're gonna make a little stand for our ice cream. So I'm just gonna go up all the way across. And about right here, I'll come down. I'll thicken it up. So it's like a little shelf that holds ice cream. And then let's come in here and I'll just draw three ice creams really quick. But it's all up to you what you want to draw. So this one maybe is like a shaved ice. <laughs> and then let's see here, we can draw another one. So we just want to put in some of these cones in here and then maybe like a swirled ice cream. I really hope you have fun drawing this. You can use your imagination, come up with whatever you want to put in here. Okay, so um, you know what? This looks kind of bare, so maybe put a little straw, the little scooper, and then right here, put another cone. One scoop, definitely two scoops, and then maybe a cherry on top. <laughs> okay, so now we have that in. And then, of course, to make it extra cute, I'm going to add a little dog right here in this window. So I'm going to come right here, and just really quickly, draw a little ear. Really hope this inspires you to draw whatever you want to put in this window. A little paw right here. And his tail, of course. And the eyes and the mouth. So really simply just two circles and a little nose. And then right here, I'm going to put cat. <laughs> so put right here, right across the ears. Come down, little paw, and then some stripes, whiskers, so we know it's a cat, <laughs> and same thing, some eyes, and a little nose. Okay, so then we have that in. Now let's see here. What else are we missing? Let's decorate this truck, right? So I'm just going to come over here and just randomly put in some clouds. Can't wait to see your fan art to see what you guys draw, what you kitties, cuties come up with. But like I said, really hope you have fun drawing this. So some clouds. Then I thought it'd be really cool if we added a rainbow right here. So maybe we're going to curve in a rainbow. So about right here, come out. Totally simplify it, only put maybe four stripes. Okay, there. And then, of course, you have to have hearts everywhere, right? So, let's see here. I'm just going to add a bunch of hearts at different angles, different sizes. Because it's my Draw So Cute ice cream truck. <laughs> and let's see here. What else are we missing? Oh, of course, some musical notes. So, let's put some on top here. And maybe one more. And 
that is pretty much it. I really hope you enjoyed how this drawing turned out and that I've inspired you to have fun and I made it easy for you to draw as well. Thanks so much for watching and if you love this ice cream truck, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any of your Draw So Cute videos. See you later.